Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have a really exciting Fairy Loose unboxing and I'm really happy that I finally received this box. Today is like Monday, what day is it? The 29th of August, so it came in really, really late, but they also announced that on their Instagram because one of the products inside of this box was delayed with shipping, so that was unfortunate. The theme for the August Fairy Loot box is Other Worlds and is perfect for fans of A Court of Mist and Fury, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, and Peter Pan. There will be a total of six items plus many more goodies. Okay, so let's stop rambling. I got my handy dandy scissors, and right now I will open the package for you guys. Okay, so let's open the box. Woohoo! Okay, so here is the spoiler card, and like I said in my previous Fairy Loot unboxing, I really, really like the different artist that is um, designing all of these cards. I just really love the artwork, and on the back you have spoiler things. Okay, so I'm not gonna look what's inside, I'm just gonna grab things. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is the candle for the month. Yay! Okay, so this is a candle by Book and & Nook and I knew that this item was going to be featured in this box and it's a coincidence because when this box, uh, when you could order this box, I just ordered a ton of Book & Nook shop candles. This candle is called Witch Soul Anise. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly right now. I'm not recognizing this from any fandom or anything and this is a fairy loot exclusive candle and it smells like cocoa cardamom and fig i'm really excited to smell this so oh this is what it looks like dark red with glitter and let's okay so this candle smells really really good i also feel like it kind of smells like cinnamony if you have seen my july fairy loot unboxing this candle kind of smells like the Loki body lotion that was featured in that box as well. And I love Book and Nook candles. Like, they smell really good when you burn them. Like, the, your whole room will smell like the candle. Yay, so I'm really happy for that item and I'm just gonna put it on my bed. Okay, so next thing that I'm grabbing out of here... Oh my god! <laughs> it's a Westeros tea strainer? A mine needs books as a sword needs a whetstone if it is to keep its edge. Ooh, I'm dropping it. That is so cool. I'm gonna open it. It has a fairy loot symbol on it. A Westeros tea strainer. <laughs> it is a sword, you guys. How cool is that? Oh my god. And I needed a tea strainer. Like I do have some loose tea leaves still from the May fairy loot box and I don't have one of these. That is so <laughs> Funny. That is an awesome item. I still needed something like this, so that's great. Um, so next up, I'm just gonna put the box like this right now. Okay, I see this. What is this? So this is a necklace. I'm not a big fan of necklaces, to be honest. I just don't ever wear them, but it is really pretty though. And it says, but why? I said, where are we going? Oh, this is a I see Reese's name in here and Valeris. So this is a Court of uh, Mr. Fury necklace. That's a shame. I just don't wear necklaces. And I feel like the little pouch that it comes in is perfect for it as well because, I mean, Valeris is like the rainbow city or something like that. The rainbow of Valeris. So, I don't know. It looks really cute. <gasps> oh my god! Next up, there are magnetic bookmarks, and I am pretty sure that these are Lord of the Rings inspired. I still need to watch those movies. Oh my god. Because I also have received a ton of Lord of the Rings inspired items in these fairy loot boxes before, and I just, I like them, but I don't love them because I have not seen the Lord of the Rings movies. These are like two magnetic bookmarks, and you can never have enough magnetic bookmarks in my opinion. So this is what it looks like. I think that the, these are like two separate ones. Yeah. So you can take them off like that. The art style on these is just so cute. So this is like a bookish tattoo. I don't know what this is like inspired by. Blackwing by Ed McDonald. I'm trying to read it backwards. So I think that maybe there will be some sort of chapter sampler in this one. I don't know. Okay, so I saw a really exciting item and it is Oh my god, fictional worlds fuel my dreams. This is a sleeping mask and I totally needed a new one because right now I also have a sleeping mask of like a panda face, but this is just... And the text on it is just perfect because fictional worlds do fuel my dreams, so that is great. Let's get the purple things out of here. So next up, I see a little tiny print. Oh, and this is a coupon code for um, this site called Mini Backdrops, and I just saw them on Instagram, which is so crazy. Oh my god. 
god! And then here I see, I think that this is a chapter sampler of God's Grave by J. Kristoff, and I have uh, bought Nevernight by him. It's on my shelf somewhere right there. Still need to read it though, but this cover of God's Grave is beautiful. And by the way, I pre-ordered it. I forgot that I pre-ordered it, so it will be on my September book haul. Oh, there's a poster inside. Wait, what? Is this a poster? This is a poster. Oh, <laughs> I thought that this was a chapter sampler. Maybe it is also a chapter sampler. And it's a poster. That is so cool. Look at that, that is huge. So that is a good surprise because I did not figure it out. <laughs> Even though it is on that page. In and then next up, yeah, here it is. Next up, I see the chapter sampler of Blackwing by Ad McDonald. So that was what the tattoo was made for. But it's a notebook. Oh, so this is designed by TJ Burano, Blorano. I follow her on Instagram. She is a Dutchie and I immediately recognize her art, art style. And this is a Peter Pan notebook. Second start to the right and straight on till morning. It is so cool. I thought that this was another print, but it is, ooh, it's a gorgeous notebook. And inside it says, all the world is made of faith and trust and pixie dust. And then on the other side of it, you have a map of Neverland. And I haven't read Peter Pan yet, really, really need to. So I will definitely keep the map with me when I'll be reading it. And like I've said in previous videos, I love notebooks. I can never have enough. And right now I have one with TJ Lebrano's beautiful artwork on it. So yeah, I'm so happy. Okay, so next up, here is a print. And... <laughs> I don't know what it's inspired by, yay me. And I think that those were all of the items inside of the box. And right now, let's see what book is inside of it. So at first I didn't know what book was gonna be in the August box, but now I'm pretty sure that it is Wicked Like Wildfire. So I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna close my eyes and take out the book, get out of here. I hope that I'm holding it on the right side again. I'm just gonna hold it like this. <laughs> I did it wrong again. So yeah, it is Wicked Like a Wildfire by Lana Pop Popovic. Don't know how to pronounce her name, but look at this book. It is so pretty. And oh my god, it feels so smooth. Like I could touch this book the whole day. So I'm gonna read the inside of the flap for you guys. All the women in Iris and Melina's family are born with a gleam, a unique way of manipulating beauty through magic. 17-year-old Iris sees flowers as fractals and turns her kaleidosco kaleidoscopic visions into glasswork. Her twin sister Melina inter interprets, I don't know how to say that, moods as music and their cold distant mother Jasmina bakes scenery into decadent treats at her confectionery in Old Town Cataro, Montenegro. Jasmina forbids Iris and Melina to share their gleams with anyone and above all she forbids them to fall in love. Being discovered could shatter the quiet lives they build in their tucked away seaside town. But Iris and Melina are tired of abiding by their mother's rules and rebel in secret whenever they can. Yet, when a mysterious white-haired woman attacks their mother and leaves her hovering between life and death, the sisters unearth an ancient curse that haunts their line, a wicked bargain that masquerades as a blessing and binds the twins' fates and hearts to a force larger than life. To save each other, they must untangle a thousand years of lies and reveal their own hurtful secrets. But even the deepest sacrifice might not be enough. That sounds like a really interesting, kind of like, just really magical read. I have heard a couple of people talk about this book and I feel like they thought that this was really just magical and amazing and I can't wait to read it. I feel like I have, <laughs> guys, I have a double dust jacket. I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh, that's so sad because maybe now someone is missing their dust jacket. I have two dust jackets right now. How weird is that? Okay, I saw it on the inside. I was like, I see two little red things in there. What is that? So that was my August Fairy Loot unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed unboxing this box. I'm really happy that I finally have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. If you guys want to follow me on all of my different social media pages, I have Goodreads, Bookstagram, a personal Instagram, a Snapchat, and an email address. So I will leave all of those things in the description down below as well. And you can just do with it whatever you want. Again, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>